This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a look at Guardian, and we're going to go into this beta for the first time, you guys are going to be able to see this new content creator beta. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. Uh, I talked about this in my last video, uh, but now we're going to actually get a chance to check it out, see what uh, it looks like in here. All right, I am very excited about this uh, beta. All right, so as you can see, we got full energy here. And let's take a look at our in-game mail. And you can see champions for testing. Okay, so there's a Sasquatch and there are the Guardians. You see there's a six-star version and a five-star version. So we can test them all out. All right, let's go ahead and claim those. And furthermore, we have all the champions just in case we needed them uh, for synergies. Okay, so they give us everything that we need, uh, all the champions that have synergies. Uh, I didn't get a five-star Wolverine, but here I have a five-star Wolverine. So I can make a video on a five-star Wolverine, rank him all the way up. So, yeah, I'm excited, okay? I can make uh, some really nice videos now, okay? <laughs> yeah, we got event quest completion, yeah, whatever. Uh, we don't really care about all that. All right, so let's go ahead over here and let's go to, we'll, uh, we'll look at the five star and what do we got here? All right, so we're going to have to rank up the uh, five star. Uh, but we can take a look here at his attributes as a rank one right quick. Okay. And now we will, uh, we have to go get the uh, resources. Okay. So we've got, you know, awakening gem may as well grab that for the uh, six star and awakening gem, grab that for the five star. And yeah, we'll just grab some uh, gold because you know we're going to need that. And uh, let's grab a couple. And uh, he's tech, so let's go ahead and grab a bunch. Whoops. Not one at a time. Uh, we can go ahead and grab a bunch of these. I always forget you can just type this in. Don't ask me why. Let me see. What's the max? Do they? Is that? Okay, 99. All right, and then we've got some uh, rank up here. So we got the uh, one to two, two to three, three to four. We're going to take him all the way up, four to five. And uh, we don't need any of those. Look at that. Yeah, everything that we need to test is beautiful. Let me get some more of these here. Eh, we'll just go to 99. That's fine. All right. Let's uh, rank this boy up. And we'll be able to give him a nice little uh, test run. Okay. Man. Filled with all of that, but that's fine. Why do I have all of these in my inventory? Uh, I don't really care. Just want to clear these out. Okay. And let's go ahead and rank him up. Just grab these out of the way. I guess they are from my from the live server. I may have those in my inventory in the live server, I guess. All right, and 
<laughs> two minutes. All right, so let's uh, grab these. This should go a little bit faster now. No need to be efficient, no need to do anything like that. We're on the test server. Okay, he's up to three. Let's grab that. And see, another thing that's really nice about this is that you can rank them up. Now in later videos, I will probably do all of this. Uh, this is just the first time I'm, I'm going over here. Uh, I didn't know that they uh, started out at the lowest rank, but this allows us to do comparison videos even. Uh, if we want to, we can make a video uh, with him at one level and then rank him up, test him out at every level if we want to. So not bad, not bad at all. Uh, but I'm really just interested in seeing him at that top level. All right, let's grab that. Okay. And then we'll see what he looks like, his stats and abilities and all that good stuff. Can you tell I'm having fun? This is actually the thing that I have the most fun in the game is building up champions, watching them grow and get stronger and that sort of thing. Call me weird, but that's what I like to do. Okay, grab them all the way up. And let's do it. It's all the way up. Let's grab some more of them tech. Whoops. Filter, there we go. All right. And I believe they said the only thing that we can't do on this server is open crystals. That's the only thing that they don't want us to do. So anything in our inventory, I mean our rosters, fair game, inventory, fair game. Um, all right, you know what? Let's uh, filter out and go to uh, five because we have too many of those other lower level ones there. Speed this along. Okay, let's grab a few of you. Okay, oh boy. Uh, that is not going to be enough. Yeah, I'll do this uh, type of thing off uh, video next time. All right. But we do get to see him growing. All right. Now, let's take a look at the uh, maxed out. Get out of that. There he is. Uh, actually, I do want to uh, use that awakening gem on him. <laughs> Those are my awakening gems I could use, but even though this is the uh, beta server, so I can use them up if I want to. Um, oh, okay. Never mind. I thought those were class for some reason. Uh, don't mind me. I'm still learning this and seeing how it works here. All right. So yeah, we can use that. And, uh, we also want to get some sig stones. And what we'll do, let's see, signature stone. Um, let's see, how many can I get? Probably 99 again. Okay, 100. And let's grab another 100. Okay, now let's take a look at them. And before we put those sig stones, we'll be able to take a look and see. Uh, how it scales up a little bit. So that might be useful. Okay, now I can actually look up here instead of looking down here. So let's take a look at his attributes first. Uh, you can see the champion tags. He's offensive, raw damage. He's a hero, medium size, he's metal. Uh, so that might be interesting when Magneto gets his rework and alpha flight. 
Okay. Uh, you can see what his health looks like. Pretty beefy uh, health. Um, he's pretty tanky. All right. Let's take a look down here. And you can see his critical rating, uh, his crit damage rating. All right. And armor rating, block proficiency. His block proficiency isn't the highest, but he has skills that will more than make up for that. All right. And that critical damage rating is going to also play a part in his abilities. All right. Let's take a look at his synergies. So this first synergy, uh, he's going to give everyone else block proficiency. That is awesome. Just for being on the team. He has a synergy with himself. Everyone except him gains 1,000 block proficiency. Awesome. Okay. Just for having him on the team. And the rest of these are all you'll notice are defensive abilities. So this one here, uh, on guard for the, the first three blocks have a 100% chance to be perfect blocks. And that's for everyone else except Guardian. So he's a great support. You want him on your team. Okay. Even if you don't like him and didn't want to play with him, he is awesome to be on your team. All right. Here's one with Sasquatch. Well-timed blocks inflict a shock debuff. Okay. Dealing 50% of attack rating as energy damage over two seconds. That is awesome. All right. Uh, I can see that being very, very useful. It reminds me of Blade but it's shock instead of bleed, all right? And you need a synergy. Here's one with Mole Man. Who's gonna bring Mole Man on their team? Each time Guardian has zero force field charges and gains a charge, gain one additional charge, okay? Uh, probably not enough for me to bring Mole Man on my team. And then the rest of these, you can see armor rating and 5% uh, perfect block chance, okay? So decent, but you can see they're all sort of defensive um, oriented. All right, so let's take a look here. Here's what his uh, signature ability does. While he has an armor up effect, he gains these. Block proficiency, energy resistance, bleed resistance, and critical damage resistance. So all of that makes him more tanky. And it's gonna go up and we're gonna take a look, uh, before we even look into all of his uh, abilities, uh, let's see, you can see what the numbers look like there. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, use these up. Okay. That's right. You're going to have to, uh, well, we'll get a chance to see that and then we'll go out, grab the other ones. Um, I guess they still haven't fixed that. It causes problems on the server when you do too many like this. Uh, at once, uh, but it'll come back, and then we'll look at his, uh, how it's scaled with just 100 in here, okay, you see that, almost doubled, it looks like, more than doubled, wow, yeah, that almost tripled his block proficiency, it's scaling up pretty, pretty nice, look at this, guys, that's impressive, and that's at 100, okay, so let's go out and grab more signature stones and uh don't ask me why but you have to do it in a bunch of steps like that all right so let's go ahead get back to him and we're gonna use another and i'm not worried about the amount that's why i just put a whole bunch in there because uh, it'll stop me and then we're going to look and see what it looks like after another hundred when he's maxed out. But he looks really tanky, but he's also got damage. Uh, I've often said that uh, Colossus was the first true tank in the game. But this one looks like a tank as well. All right, so let's take a look here. And look at that, man. That is a lot of block proficiency. Remember what I told you? His block proficiency might be low on the, uh, you know, base, but this makes up for it, okay? This makes him extremely tanky, all right? All right, so let's go ahead over his abilities now. All right, so 
he can't land crits normally. All right. So that means he's good for all the same things that um, guillotine 2099 or uh, crossbones are good for. You know, flow in Alliance War, you have to crit in order to trigger that power gain. Well, if they're not critting, they don't trigger it. So anything that triggers on crit, spiked armor, for example, uh, you don't have to worry about it because you're not going to be able to crit. Okay. He can also trigger the parry mastery against non-contact attacks. That makes him very annoying. Uh, he's going to be an annoying defender. Uh, he's not difficult to take out if you have the right champion, um, especially like uh, Corvus. Corvus eats him alive. Okay. Uh, so he's not going to be an insane defender. While Guardian's ability accuracy is below 100%, for three plus seconds, he inflicts a shock debuff. So I'm assuming this is when someone reduces his ability accuracy. If he's going up against someone that reduces ability accuracy, then he's going to put a shock on them. Okay? And it's going to deal energy damage until his ability accuracy is restored. And if it's never restored, yeah, that looks interesting. I really want to see how that works. Um, this ability scales with base attack only, which means the higher his base attack, the more damage it will do and cannot be affected by ability accuracy. All right. Now, here's about that armor up. All right. He starts every fight with an indefinite armor up buff, increasing his armor rating. Now, this reminds me of Guillotine 2099. She also gains an indefinite armor up buff. If this buff is removed for any reason, it'll return after 14 seconds. With Guillotine 2099, hers returns much faster than that. I think it's, what, four seconds? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but don't be put off by that 14 seconds, because we're going to see a little bit later on that he has a way to get that armor up back faster than the 14 seconds. Uh, but that's just the natural return, okay? Uh, while Guardian has an armor up buff, well-timed blocks, that's parries, against special attacks grant 100% perfect block chance over 0.5 seconds. So that's usually enough to last out a special attack. So if you parry the first part of a special attack, then you're going to be able to get no damage dealt to you because that's what a perfect block does. You don't take any damage. So you can actually get no damage from specials if you time it properly okay that's very interesting okay each perfect block grants 10 percent of a bar of power so if you have someone that does a multi-hit um quick you know multi-hit uh special and you parry it you're going to be gaining power faster i like it man that's impressive so he's got this force field uh, it lasts indefinitely up to three charges, okay? So he's going to have three indefinite force field charges up. Any additional field uh, force field charges last for 22 seconds. Uh, he gains one every 12 seconds. Now, read this one. While Guardian has an armor up buff, gain a 15% chance per force field charge to auto block the opponent's special attack gain a 15% chance against mutants. This auto block can reach a 75% chance at max and is considered a well-timed block. So let me say that again. It is considered a well-timed block. The reason why I wanted to repeat that is look up here. So he has a chance, a high chance at max to auto block the opponent's special attack. It's considered a well-timed block. What happens with a well-timed block against a special? Look up there. Remember, we just read it. Perfect block. 100% perfect block. Okay? He's not going to be taking a lot of damage. All right? This guy is tanky. So if you thought that you had to get that parry timing down just right for the special, no need. While you have these force fields up, this is what you got. Or, or while you have the armor up buff up. Uh, you can do this. Very, very nice, okay? Uh, it'll consume one force field charge 
to block unblockable special attacks against mutants. He don't like mutants. He's real good against mutants. Okay, on a fourth light attack, that's ending in the light attack, full five hit combo, end in a light attack, uh, it'll consume two force field charges, inflicting a power drain, removing 20% of the opponent's current power. So he's got a little power control. Love it. Okay, uh, this reminds me of Starkey, where he has a power control, power drain on his uh, special two. Love it. Um, you might need that, you know, in a fight where he got too close to a special three. Just uh, end in that light attack while you have your force field charges up and you're good. Uh, now, here's what I was talking about earlier. Heavy attacks. The first hit consumes one force field charge to gain a armor up. So if within those 14 seconds you want to get that armor up quickly, just fire off the heavy attack. It will take your force field charges, but remember, you're going to regain those force field charges periodically. Okay, um, so you gain an armor up buff uh, and it'll increase your armor rating for 15 seconds. Well, remember, it's got, you're going to get a natural one in 14 seconds, I believe it was. Okay, so here are his special attacks. So after activation, special one, uh, you're going to gain three force field charges. So, you know, if you had to use some of them up, fire off a special one, you're going to gain them. The last hit inflicts a taunt debuff, lasting six seconds. Okay, that is huge. Love it. Okay, those annoying uh, defenders that don't want to throw their specials or if you're facing an all or nothing node, beautiful. Okay, it'll taunt it out of them. Now, this special two is the big boy damage. All right, the first hit consumes all force field charges. So that's all of them that you have currently when you fire the special two off. That's important because you get three indefinite. You do have others that last 22 seconds, but as we're going to see, you're going to be able to get more all right um uh for each force field charge you get an increase in your attack rating for the duration of the special attack all right if guardian has three plus force field charges consume one armor up buff and inflicts a shock debuff dealing energy damage by the way he gets melted by human torch i learned that the hard way i hadn't read his abilities i didn't know how much energy damage and shock that he does. Don't want to take him up against uh, Human Torch, okay? Anyway, this attack cannot be evaded by mutant champions. Now, look at this special three. On activation, gain six indefinite force field charges. Indefinite, okay? Means they don't go away naturally. Uh, inflict a shock debuff dealing energy damage again over 20 seconds so what you can do and what i've seen done with the three star is you can fire off multiple special threes build up a lot of force field charges then fire off your special two attack and do big boy damage i saw the three star do crazy damage and i'm curious to see what this maxed out guy can do all right, so we're going to go into Realm of Legends. We're going to fight Winter Soldier, and we're going to test this guy out a little bit. All right, we're going to go in here. You can see I have all of the synergies active on uh, Guardian here, and we're going to test him out. I have not fought with him. Um, I played a little bit with the three-star, uh, but that was it. Okay, so we're going to do this together. We're going to test him out, see what he looks like. All right, you see that shock that he got put on there? That was the synergy. All right. He's not taking a lot of damage, guys. All right, look at this, man. He is so tanky. All right, I'm just going to fire the special one off. Just so you can see it. See that taunt? Look how long that taunt is. See? He fired off his special one. Because uh, he still had that taunt on him. That's a really nice uh, taunt there. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, fire off the special two. Look at that damage. And I have not even 
uh, I was just curious to see if he uh, auto blocked it. Um, but I have not even built up anything. That was some crazy damage. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to, now that we've seen that, I'm going to uh, build up to a special three. And we're going to fire that bad boy off. His special three is okay. Certainly not one of my favorite ones, though. Look at that. Not a lot of damage taken there. Okay, so we just built up. You see, we got a lot of... Um, of the uh, force field charges. And I drained him, so I used up one of the charges. That was by accident. Didn't mean that. Look at that. Not a lot of damage taken there, boy. Not a lot. All right, so we're going to build up another uh, special three here. Get some more charges. Yeah, he's tanky. He's really tanky. Um, I don't know if I would call him suicide friendly. Look at that. Auto blocked. No damage. Sweet. All right, so I got 14 of these, and we're going to go ahead and fire off the uh, special two. Uh, we lost a few of them because not all of them are in uh, indefinite. All right. We're going to build up to that special two and then unleash the beast on him. Okay, let's get one more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he knows what's coming. Wow. That's ugly, guys. That's ugly. That is nasty. All right. Well, this video is already long enough. Uh, that should give you a little bit of a taste. He looks crazy good. Uh, I will be making some other videos a little bit later before this beta is over where we just build up and see how much damage we can do in one special two. Uh, but I don't want to make this video last too much longer. All right. But that's going to do it. Hopefully you have enough information now to see whether you want to go for him or not. I like him. I like him a lot. I see a lot of potential. He's a true tank. So uh, if you can pick him up, I say go for it. He is very impressive. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.